you know, I would say to you that the journey requires and hands-on people that want to walk this journey with you. That's the first bit of advice I would give to either any buyer or any seller. Um, besides the four risks, there are numerous risks out there. There are, but you know, having thought about some things that you and I wanted to speak about, the four were the mortgage loan not being granted. Can you imagine? So you've got an offer to purchase. Both parties are extremely excited because they've got this offer to purchase. And now all of a sudden, somebody comes along and says, the buyer doesn't qualify. Invariably, maybe deposits are, have already been paid. And, you know, we can, each one of these is basically a, a long conversation in itself. But second, property valuation, not high enough. So, or low enough. Think about you get, you've signed an offer to purchase, you as a buyer see value in a, in a house and you want it. And the bank come to you and they say to you, there's not enough value for us to lend you the money. So there's another depressing thought. You know, death of either of the parties involved is another one we didn't even, you know, think about. Uh, a cooling off period where the property value is below 250,000 rand for first time home buyers because they don't understand that there's levies, rates, and taxes. Uh, there's a lot of add on costs. You know, you're not just talking about the paying the bond back, you're talking about being a responsible person. Now you're paying rates and taxes, electricity, sewerage, and all these things, and nobody's ever, ever walked this journey with you.